I'm Alexis Newbert of Alexis Design, and this is how to create or design a travel brochure. For a basic brochure, which is usually a tri-fold format, we want to start by creating the right type of document to work with. I'm going to create this document in Adobe InDesign. It's a layout program that uses text and images together, and I recommend using a program that can incorporate all of those elements. So, we'll start a new document. And a standard brochure is an 8.5 by 11 sheet oriented landscape with three panels on each side. So since it's a two-sided piece, we can make two pages, one page for the outside and one for the inside. And then we want to create even margins all the way around. 0.25 is a good standard number. And then we also want to create three columns for each page, and that will show us where our three panels are and give us a good idea of how to space things correctly. So we'll put in for three columns, and we'll make the gutter, which is the space between columns, twice what the margin around is, 0.5. Therefore, as you can see when you have your blank document, when you, are, when you fold these panels, you'll have even margins all the way around each panel, and you won't have anything sort of shoved too far to the center or shoved too far this way. So this is a really good way to set up your guides and make sure that you're lining things up correctly from the beginning. Now, I have a sample brochure out here that incorporates images and type in a very simple way, but in a basic travel brochure format. So I have a nice photo of my location on the front panel, which would be your right-hand panel on side one, the title or the name of the location. I have, you know, some additional information below it. You might want to add a background color. You could do that by, you know, dragging a large rectangle with your rectangle tool. Use your object menu, choose arrange and send to back. And maybe put in a nice 20% yellow, just for a little bit of warmth against the nice blues and greens. So you can play around with your background and add different colors in different places. On this page one, which is the outside of your brochure, you'll also have the center panel, which will be the back of your brochure when folded. That usually contains um, a repeat of basic contact information, maybe in a little bit more detail. Maybe it has, you know, information about you know, times of year that it's open, availability, that sort of thing. On this left-hand panel on side one, um, that's the flap that gets folded in. So something that I like to put on that panel is usually maybe an about uh, history, something additional that doesn't have to be necessarily connected with the whole inside of the brochure. So you can create your text box using your text tool here, like I've done. Type in or paste in your text, choose a font using the tool palette up here, font, font size. Maybe you want to add a header. So you can put above your paragraph style here something history. Maybe that's bold, a larger font size. The important thing on a brochure like this is to keep your fonts clear, easy to read, this is something that people want to read for information, um, so you want to make that readily available to them. On the inside, I've chosen to use two photos, one nice and large that takes up two panels, one kind of smaller, a difference in size on photos, and a way to break up the columns of text is a nice way to make it easy on the eyes and easy for the reader, and of course, draw them in to your destination, of course. When you're creating your text in your text boxes, uh, with a column style, you can either have your paragraphs left aligned or you can try doing justified, which you can choose from your top palette here, the different text alignment. That makes a nice clean line along the side, but can sometimes give you trouble with a lot of hyphenations and funny spacing. So it really depends on your text size and how wide your columns are and how that's going to work for you. One thing I don't recommend doing is centering columns of text. Um, it's just not easy on the eye to read text that isn't lined up, at least on the left side. So in paragraph form, you really want to have your text either left or justified. But it's 
you know, up to you what font you choose and how many images and how much information you put in your brochure. So you can really have fun with it. That's how to make a travel brochure.